So today we play a team who have just beat Bayern Munich in the form of Hoffenheim. And then we play the second leg of our Champions League game against Roma. Of course, obviously in the group stage, but it's effectively the away leg of that game. Which is quite worrying considering we lost the home leg. But hopefully with a new formation and a few injuries that aren't so bad now, hopefully we can get back to good form. So for episode 5 of season 4, roll the intro. In my Hello there everyone, welcome to episode 5 of season 4 of the Wolfsburg Sound. Football match 2018, today it is time for two big games. The first one at home against Hoffenheim in the Bundesliga, and the second one a few days later away in Italy and in Roma, in the Champions League against Roma. Um, as you can see, the season is not going too well, um, because obviously, you know, last time out we had two really bad losses. The first one against Roma, and then we just got absolutely battered by Cologne. But luckily we won in the DFP Pokal uh, second round against Nuremberg, and we got four goals. I took on old Mali and Dematter will contribute, and it was really good considering it was a... Uh, a weakened team, we just wants to rotate a little bit. And this match is the most important. But then we've got a really important match coming up um, three days after this. So we're not going to have much time to recover. Obviously, I have to uh, travel to Italy as well. Um, but apart from that, let's just get straight into it. Obviously, I said Hoffenheim beat um, Sch uh, Bayern Munich last week. They beat them 3-0, which is quite a shock, actually. Um, and that turns the Bundesliga upside down a little bit. Because Bayern Munich have only got a three-point advantage now. And whilst we're not in the picture um, for Champions League football as it stands... Obviously, we've only played nine games, so everything can change from now. What we don't want today is another loss, which makes it five in a row on camera. But we've changed our formation around a little bit to 4 one 3 2 now, just to see what we can do. A little bit more attacking prowess to see what we can do. Um, we've got, oh, we haven't got Castells in goal today. I don't quite know what's gone on there. Um, Hart in goal. we Gomez, Kaffenberger, Bruma and Gerhardt at the back. Camacho, the only central midfielder. Ursel, Mali and Stefanak in the attacking midfield. With then Isaac and Chaplin up front. We're just going to go with what the quick pick said today. Um, and then we're going to change anything after. By the way, the, the sun is setting outside. So at some point in this video, I might have to go and turn the light on. But it's a bit of an awkward time to record it about 6pm at the moment. Because the sun is going down. Um, but the clocks do move forward now, uh, forward now this weekend, don't they? So I mean, at least that makes it a little bit better. Um, but yeah, as it says there, our, our bad uh, our bad run hasn't really been very good. And as I say, it really needs to end today. But within five seconds, we've already given the ball away. And it could be an early goal. Schoff, through to uh, Fabio on the wing... Fabio puts it into the box. Camacho, though, gets it out and it's back um, to Geisha for Hoffenheim to cast up now to Bernic. And luckily, that early high, high highlight is over. Um, Hoffenheim, though, have got Kramerich, obviously, who played for Leicester. And he's been there pretty much, I think, all the saves since the start. And they've got Alex Oxlade Chamberlain, who's just nearly scored a goal. And we were going to sign him. Um, but basically, we'd already got enough players on that wing position. So we thought, you know, there's no point. But if I hadn't have had enough players, I'd have certainly signed Chamberlain. He was another free transfer as well. Gomez with the ball into the box. Goes straight to Bayman, though. For Hoffenheim. In the first 10 minutes here, it's been quite action packed. Bayern Munich only drawing at the moment, so they're not winning. Um, and got quite a good pass there from Mali through to Isaac. Can we get a goal on board? Quiddy so straight away. St uh, Chaplin quite, quite get there. Eunice Mali back to Camacho. Camacho. Oh, poor pass from Camacho. Now it's an attack for uh, for Hoffenheim, even. Kramaric to Geis to Burnich. Burnich through to Fabio. This could be a goal here. He's through on goal. He shoots. Fab uh, Hart gets it out in Hart there. I just can't say my words today. This is typical FM. I thought after this break, I'm going to try and pronounce words more correctly. But I just can't do it. I'm hopeless. Anyway, they've got the ball back. Geiger on the ball. To Burnich. To Schoff. To Chamberlain. And he's very nearly scored the first goal of the game. And considering um, he's shot there, I don't quite know how he hasn't. So what we're going to do is change things around. We're just not dominating, obviously, here. Um, it's going to go on a bit more um, counter-attacking football. Slightly deeper. Look for the overlap. Look into the box. Wide football. I'm quite happy to do that. Um, and yeah, let's see how it goes. We've got 50-50 possession, but it just looks like they're getting a lot of chance at the moment. Uh, maybe, maybe playing counter-attacking football might be the way to go here. But I think genuinely, if we lose today, and we lose in the game against Roma, this season can kind of already be called a bit of a write-off, to be honest. Because we'll be pretty much out of the Champions League. Um, Roma will now have, I think, is that, I think it's nine points after four games, whereas we'll have any three, any have three um, and, we'll have to, and we'll have to beat Chelsea um, to get even past the group stage. And that's 1-0 to Hoffenheim. And I just don't get what's going on. We just haven't got the form over here in Germany. We started off really well in the league. It was a little bit inc inconsistent, fair enough. But now we just cannot seem to get anything together. Uh, there's a risk that we took this massive risk to come over to Germany. And we could be out of a job. And I, I don't think that'll happen. Um, but there's a potential we could be out of a job without Connor Chaplin. And we might just find ourselves, you know, back at Portsmouth. Could Portsmouth have down relegations zone in the championship. Um, and I'll be honest, if 
Wolfsburg did sack me, and I was given the chance to go back to Port, so I'll jump at the chance, because I, I, I'm still a bit gutted about leaving, but at the end of the day, I want to try a new leaf at Wolfsburg, but if it doesn't work, sometimes um, you just can't match with a club, you just can't do it at some clubs, um, and maybe the fans, um, and maybe the finish last season were a little bit too high, maybe we're just trying to be um, a little bit unrealistic with where we're going to finish this season, that's maybe um, the case, I hope not though, we're giving the players a bit of a bad um, team talk, not that I, don't, I can't even remember doing that, I can't, can you guys remember me doing a team talk just then, I think I did one, or is it just on autopilot now that I completely forget that I've done one, oh I don't know, 40 plus 7 minutes in here though at the Volkswagen Arena, and that's a good ball out from Bowman, to Gerhardt, to Intep, Intep now to Chaplin, can we get a goal back, Chaplin into the box for Isaac, very nearly no 1-1, one, one. From the online bund uh, Bundesliga strike from Borussia Dortmund. Lerzel back to Camacho. Camacho into Mali. Mali is saved by Bowman there. And we're getting pretty close to scoring. And um, we just need to get the shot on goal now. But talking a little bit more about leaving ports. So I think it was something we needed to do. Because we weren't going to get ahead with ports of whatsoever. Um, and even if this doesn't work. It gives us opportunity to go elsewhere. Um, and sort of rebuild our career. I think. Uh, I don't want to say Wolfsburg was the wrong move. But it was ambitious. Um. My hope was really that we could have took what was seeming to be a Wolfsburg team that was growing, you know, it finished third last year, into a team that could potentially um, be a league winner. And that would massively um, increase the stature of my career. You know, a league win in the Bundesliga, that's no mean feat against Bayern Munich. Um, but if we can't even get into the top four this season, this season's a complete write-off. And as we all know, um, Page's management is dwindling massively. And we were particularly lucky at Pompey because we didn't have um, that job scrutiny... Um, purely because we were obviously at the club for a long time. We'd massively overperformed, so, you know, the club never really looked at whether we were doing too well or not. But here, it's a little bit of a different story. It's worrying me a little bit, but we'll have to see how we go in the next few matches. But if we're going to look like we're going to lose here, we've still got 25 minutes to go. But if we lose here, um, and we lose against Roma in the week, there are questions about whether um, our job can be satisfactory. I mean, I mean Edin Dzeko's come in the press in the week. Don't ask me why. Um, and said that he's not impressed with how we're doing this season. Well, no, we're not doing very well, I'll admit that. And if that was 2-0, that would definitely be game over. But it is a little bit worrying, to be honest. We're um, way down the league, and I think if we do get sacked by Wolfsburg quite early on, it's not going to be nice, because it's going to be, you know, repeat of the Southampton job and two sackings on the on the list. Um, but I, I just can't believe we haven't got any chances. We haven't had a chance all game um, that we've done anything with. And... Pfft, it's not looking great for us here. I mean, if we can't score, that's not helpful at all. But it looks like it's going to be game over here um, at the Volkswagen Arena. That should be 1-0 to Hoffenheim. And fair play to them. But we've now lost another three points. And we've lost more games than we've won this season. That's never a, a comfortable statistic. And, uh, hmm, deary me, that's worrying. And coming to Roma game in the week, um, there are questions. But the board, the job is still stable here. Uh, we're just having a quick look at the other jobs that are available. We might uh, look to jump ship here if it's not going too well. Um, but in terms of security, if we go down to the really insecure jobs, we have got... Um, well, there's a few not uh, lower league jobs available. Lazio in Syria. Uh, no Premier League jobs coming available yet. Um, but if we look at the Championship quickly, Pompey are still in 23rd. Two wins, three losses... Uh, sorry, three draws and nine losses so far. So Pompey not doing well whatsoever. And maybe we might get to go out there at some point. But it looks like for the moment, we'll be staying at Wolfsburg. So now for the next game, we're going to travel to Italy and to Roma for the fourth game of our Champions League campaign. few changes then for this game against Roma in Group D, where of course we can be knocked out tonight. It's never a nice thing. Um, we've got Guilavoshi replacing uh, Camacho in the central midfield position. Damata plays as well as William. Um, in the right wing position. Right, okay, let's go for this game. I'm, I'm a bit worried about it, I won't lie, because if we don't win this one, we can actually see effectively to be out, because obviously we'll be on three points, Roma will be on nine. I'll just expand, oh, I suppose you can see there all the goal difference and all that. Um, but if, as I say, if Roma win, oh, that's a bit stupid, we don't want to expand it by that much, forget that. Um, but we're on the ball though, Gerhardt's to matter, to matter, bad ball there to Sousa, Sousa to Allison. Out to El Shrari, but we get the ball cap. Good, good stuff. William. Good ball to Isaac. Isaac into the box for Demata. Oh, real chance for us there. Ah, dear. I'll tell you what. We can't believe I can go six games on camera. Um, 
without a win. And luckily, as it stands, we're not going to because Jeffrey Broom has just scored his first goal of the season and that has put us ahead here at Roma and that is absolutely fantastic stuff. Ten minutes, oh, a minute and a half later and they could be getting a goal back. Lucas Mora. Mora to Florenzi. Florenzi into the box for Fafana to Gon Alonso. Wow, that's a goal from Roma. But it's an instant apply for them and it is now 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's a bit naff, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Ah, oh, dear. It's really... It hasn't gone to pot quite at Wolfsburg, but it's not gone as well as I thought it would. I mean, the foundations were pretty much already built here. They're certainly, they were effectively built at Pompey. How can we go 1-0 one nil, one nil up in 6 minutes in to 2-1 down? I mean, the frustrating thing is the team are going to get all angry in the dressing room. You know, they're going to be saying, well, we're not winning games and we're out of the Champions League and everything's going to go a bit mad. So, as present, if we keep going how we are, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm still here at Christmas. But that's 2-2. Two, two. That's a goal back, but it's never over till the final whistle. I'm glad we got that goal back by all means. Um, but this seems like it's going to be a good game. Probably won't be any more goals, though, now till um, the 90th minute. But they seem to be dominating the game. But it looks like we've got a lot of chances this first half. William into the box for Sefrinak. And that's very, very, very nearly 3-0. 3-0. 3-2 to Wolfsburg here. Half an hour in, though. Still 2-2. We've got another highlight here. Florenzi to Strararo. El Shirari. Gomez puts it out. Chelsea um, will qualify tonight if they win their match. Leon have been an absolute disaster in this group. Um, and have lost all four games as it stands. But Dembele, to be fair though, will be, will, will be an absolute disaster if we've um, only beat Leon and then haven't beat anybody else. But that'll be the big thing. Um, because if we've got to play Leon, um, say if we play on Leon next match, for example, uh, and we win and Roma lose, and it goes down to the last match, um, we've got Chelsea next match. So it won't quite apply, and we've very nearly scored no goal. I just don't get it. I mean, we've bought some really good players, um, got some good attacking players, but we just can't defend. And... That's been my trouble throughout FM18, to be honest. We just haven't been able to defend. And whilst I like to play expansive football, well, I don't mind conceding. Um, it's frustrating scoring two or three to then just be replied by two or three. And we've already done that within the first 36 minutes here. And it's a little bit of a worry of a contingency plan. Because we're never going to win anything, are we, if we just keep leaking goals. I mean, it's a well-known fact that look at the Premier League. Um, Liverpool, for example, you know, they score shed loads of goals. But then at the same time, they concede shed loads of goals. So... Whilst you don't want to be a Burnley where don't they don't score many um, and don't concede many, you don't want to be a Liverpool who can you know score lots but they concede lots. Um, so you've got to find that fine balance to succeed, and uh, we haven't been able to succeed yet. I mean, in <laughs> I mean it's just me battering myself here really. Within since what at the end of October playing FM, we still haven't won um, a league. We haven't won a, a domestic trophy. We've won, of course, the Carabao Cup and the Europa League with Liverpool, but we haven't gone as far. Um, as anything else really yet, we haven't we've we haven't got to any finals. I don't think. Um, we obviously technically got to the well, we didn't get to the playoff final, but we got to the road to the playoff final, if you like, the last game for, uh, for Pompey, and that failed. Um, but I don't know. Do you think you guys think we should have had another year at Pompey so if we can gone up? I don't think we should have, to be honest, because that third season was the one that it was meant to be, um, and it wasn't meant to be. Um, and that's a bit frustrating, but it's just annoying, really, playing FM every day, knowing that you're not going to be doing anything that's substantial, especially at this point of the season. If Roma go and win, this could seriously be like a dead rubber sort of season. I mean, we've got nothing to fight for because we're a long way away from the clubs in the Bundesliga. I mean, we've literally got to go and win all of our next five or six games to be comfortable. Um, and if we're out of the Champions League, then... I mean, there's no point to it. I mean, we could get a Pakal win, but then again... I don't think anybody looks at the Pakal in any way, shape or form as a good trophy. And I don't know how El Shirari hasn't scored there um, for Roma. It looks like Chelsea are going to quite easily beat um, Leon in their game. They're already 2 0 up. And yeah, Leon, 12 goals down. Blimey. I mean, I think the problem was in that first game. Uh, no, it's the second game, sorry, against Leon. We got a little bit too complacent. I mean, we're 4 0 up. Uh, we beat them 4 0. But ever since then, um, it seems, yeah, ever since then we haven't played quite so well. I mean, fair enough, we beat Nuremberg in the Pakal, but oh, Leon have got a goal back, here we go. Um, I mean, technically, if Leon, Leon go and draw with Chelsea, they're not actually qualified yet, we can still beat them. I very much doubt it, I very much doubt we can get a 12-goal turnover um, in those games, but you never know, you never know, I suppose. Stefan Hack into the box, 
Gone Lon's out. Demata shoots. I need to go from Nani Demata. I swear to God, Nani Demata sometimes um, scores the most bonkers of goals. We are going to make a substitution. We're going to bring Camacho on um, for Kaffenberger. And also, we will bring Arnold on for Ozil, but then drop Arnold back. Um, so we're going to a 4 triple 2 formation. But I want to see this goal from Demata before only making tactical change. Uh, Tactical tweaks, but look at this. Stefinak into the box. Gone Lons gets it out. One touch from Demata. In fact, no, one touch and it's in. And that isn't just luck. He's already done it this um, this season. He's got a real gift. But they've brought Edin Dzeko on now. And this is the second time we're leading today. Um, and this is a little bit of a worry, to be honest, if Edin Dzeko um, produces some magic. But there we go. That's all sorted. We've got half an hour left here at Roma State. And Swing Singer's starting to look a little bit up if we can go win this game. But it's not all over yet. Of course, um, Hart used to play for Roma in this save, so a bit of tension there. Dembele 12, Shirari to Shirari, and of course, within two minutes, Roma have now booked the trend and got a reply, and it's now 3-3. I'll tell you, it's an exciting game, but it ain't half frustrating for a manager who's uh, been ahead twice. But Chelsea have had a red card for Palermo, and because of that, Leon are now drawing um, in France. It's not at the Stamford Bridge, and I'll tell you what, Leon could win this game, and that would be very interesting. If we, we beat Roma, they're not technically out of the chance yet, but they're pretty much are. But Paulson to Sheffield. We've just bottled a lead again. And I, I just can't bother to watch this. I just can't. It's a, it's a good game. Granted. Leon are now beating Chelsea. Brilliant to see. Um, but I just don't get what's going on. To Mata. To William. Into the box for Isaac. It's very nearly 4-4. But look at this, it's 9-9-3-3 in the group at the moment. Nobody has qualified yet, um, and nobody's out. And I think that's something that I don't think could be said uh, for both of those stats for in the groups. But it's very, very, very nearly 5-3 to Roma. Of course, they're still leading. And what would upset the apple cart is if we scored here. But I don't think it's going to happen. We need to make a few subs, though, um, which we will. We'll bring Connor Chaplin on for Isaac um, and Intep on for Stefanak. Oh, we can't make any subs. more subs, right. Bring Chaplin on as a poacher, see how he gets on. Straro to Gonalons to Frenzy. Wow, that was very nearly 5-3. A lot of venom in that shot. Really close. And that was very nearly a goal. Ten minutes left, though, here at Roma. It's been a really good game. But if we go and lose a sixth consecutive game on camera, I'm going to be very sad. Adding Jack on the ball there for Roma. To Paulson. Into the box for Dembele. And it's 5-3 to Roma. I don't know what we're supposed to do. I mean, we're only, what, 15 games in, five episodes in here at Wolfsburg. And it's already going badly. Five minutes left of extra time. But it looks like we're going to be out of the um, Champions League because basically we need to win our games against Chelsea and Lyon and for Roma not to pick up any points for the next two games. And in one of them games, of course, they're going to be playing against Lyon. So chances are we're going to be out of the Champions League. And uh, that is simply not good enough. They are on the possession. They've, they've mugged us today and it brings classic to end, whatever. Um, but that's our sixth consecutive loss on camera. I mean, what can we do? I don't know what we can do. There we go. Knocked out of the Champions League. It's official, apparently. Um, I don't quite think it's quite official yet. Oh, yeah. Competitive. Yeah, it's competitive. So we are out of the Champions League. <sighs> I mean, look at the look at that league. Look at that league. We're seven points off. I don't think we can do it. I don't think it's happening here. I mean, we've we haven't won in the league since we beat Hanover on the twenty fifth of of September. Deary me. Well, that's it for today's video, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you didn't. Comment any thoughts about the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, maybe at six p.m. I don't know if I've got the motivation anymore. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.